Stop. Start. Yeah, look, can, can I stop, Rob? Because I want you to know right. exactly what was that. See, I please, I like please, I like don't Rob. Don't start with Cam Newton should be no, the no, 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 no. I like Rob understand the game as both former players. Correct. But here's kind of what Greg was saying so you get a better understanding. I'm going to do it in the best Greg Hill voice possible. Okay. Rob, the- I, I can't believe Rob Ninkovich <laughs> is now – King Flip Flopper for saying the Patriots offense is not going to be any good. Wow. Do it for clicks. Never said that, Greg. I said that they need to find their identity, which is a big difference. I didn't say they weren't going to be any good. This is what I was saying. Originally, when you saw this team, you knew there was going to be some growing pains. You knew there was going to be some things that they had to figure out. Mm -hmm. Then you watch them through training camp, and you kind of see that they're searching for their identity offensively. And I've you really – you watch the last preseason game and you're like, geez, I hope you don't see that week one. And I'm sure everybody on the roster doesn't want to see that week one. So Bill, he's, he's come out and said, well, now the regular season is kind of an extension of the preseason kind of, and through September, they're going to be figuring things out. So until I see this team have some type of identity, I'm a little bit concerned because of the fact that what are they? Are they a running run first team? Are they uh, run, set up, play action? Are they going to be a spread team? We don't know because we haven't seen enough. There's not enough out there to, to have a accurate sample size of what to anticipate week one. So it's going to be a big question mark, and we will find out very soon. So are you walking it back on your bold 12-win prediction when it comes to this team? Uh, you know, maybe a little flip-flopping here. Maybe a little flip-flopping on the... It's okay to change okay. your opinion. Okay. I mean, listen, you, you, look, the, you, you, everyone, you, you, you look at something one time and you're like, I don't know. and the, Or a song, you listen to the song, you're like, I don't like that song. And then a, two weeks later, you're singing the song, you love the song. <laughs> Things happen. You know, movies. Mm-hmm. You watch a movie, you love it. You watch it the second time, you're like, this is a terrible movie. Uh-huh. So there's, there's always things that you flip-flop on. Mm-hmm. But we'll see. We'll see. 12 wins. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. <laughs> Rob, let I me was a- really excited. Let me ask you this question, Rob, because I, I want to get it from a defensive guy. Because I know if I was in that locker room and Matt Patricia was now the play caller and I was on offense, I would be scratching my head like, what? This guy's been running, you know, has been a defensive guy the majority of his career. What would it be like for you as a player if all of a sudden Josh McDaniels came over and was the defensive play caller and you were on that defense, would you be scratching your head or would you be like, well, in Bill, I trust? Well, here's the thing. When, when you're calling plays offensively, you're calling the play because you know exactly what the defense is in. So you're trying to trick the defense. So with that said, it would be awkward. It'd be weird, but, you might think to yourself, well, hey, if he's really good at offense and he understands how to attack a defense, why wouldn't he be able to flip that around and put a defense out there that is perfect for what the offense is trying to do to you? So, so why, again, I, why I hasn't nobody ever done coach, that? I, I think that there's <laughs> – I don't know. I don't know why nobody's <laughs> ever done that. That's a question. That's not a question for me. That's a question for maybe Bill, and he won't give you an answer. But it's – That whole situation is a little bit different. But here, when I was retiring, I asked I asked Bill, like, what's the one thing that if you ever got into coaching would help me be a good coach? And he said, Well, you're an outside linebacker. You you saw the game from the outside in on defense. A good coach can look at the play from above, like. A, a blimp like you're looking down on the field you see the offense you see the defense you see all the pieces and you can kind of see how everything works together so I understand that now in a sense of a lot of these coaches they start out you know Matty P started out on the offensive side of things when he was an assistant to Skarnecchia so I think that when you're in the league a long time you you see everything from the top down so you can kind of p- picture everything and piece it all together, which makes a lot of sense. It really does. Bill was on Monday. I asked Devin McCourty this, but he said, he essentially said on Monday that preseason doesn't matter. And you, you don't really, you won't know about this team until week five or six. Do you agree with that? I agree with the preseason has become kind of a joke. Now it's not really a, 
like it's not a thing that it used to be where guys were really playing and really going after it. You know, they, the league has changed right now. It's, it's changed a lot. So I think that with the way the rosters are being shaped, some. Wow. What wow. Just, it sounds like he I hope he's in, okay. Did he bump into a fan or something? Uh, like, he looks like he sounds like he is literally stuck in a fan trying to do the Darth Vader voice. What happened? Uh, seemed like he was I'm getting, not sure. R- R- Rob? It might, I think it's his connection. No, I haven't potted down because it's just that well, loud. Turn it back up and see if he's back. We're worried about him. Oh, that's not good for anyone oh, to listen. I think that's there you that, go. Wait, I that's, thought I heard something. That's some kind of an audio blocker that Bill uses, even on former players. Right, that's what I was getting ready to say, but I thought <laughs> I just heard him. Rob? Hello. Can you hear me? Yeah, we lost you for a minute so, there. Oh, you lost me. Well, I'm literally standing in the corner uh, of my child's school in the, <laughs> in the, like trying to be away from everybody. But anyway. Yeah. So, can you hear me now? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you're basically saying that those who are criticizing this offense after watching a, 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 a however many preseason games they have watched um, are uh, have, have absolutely no basis to do that on because preseason has, ter- has turned into a joke. No, I, I don't think. I think you're, you're fair to criticize the offense at this point. But I would say until you – 100% are like, yes, this isn't going to work. Yes, this isn't right. you, you got to give it at least a month into the season. Because if they're 0-4, oh, yeah, we got we got problems. But it, right now, you, you, nobody really knows. You're just assuming, oh, they look bad. They're going to be bad. And granted, the last preseason game was bad. It was really bad. So we'll see in Miami. I think that that's like that is going to be the thing that I watch that first game. What are they going to look like? How are they going to come out? If if it looks bad, then I'd be pretty worried. Week one. Uh, so w- in regards to the offense looking bad, I don't even know. I- I'm curious your thoughts. If you think it's schematically that they're looking bad, or because what I have noticed is. All the reports from training camp, and then even in the preseason games, especially that last one, it seems as though the offensive line is there's there are misconnections across the offensive line, whether it's missing assignments or just losing one on one battles. It, do you see it more of a they're growing into a new scheme offense, or is it straight up an offensive line issue that they've been having all preseason? I think it could be a combination of new plays, new terminology, new coaching. And new players. I mean, that, that when you have new people coming in, when you have a new system in place, when you have new coaches, it takes a little bit of time for everyone to understand and be on the same page. And at the end of the day, football is all about everyone understanding what their assignment is on every single play. And it only takes one guy that screws it up to make the rest of the team look absolutely terrible. So if you're a offensive lineman and you miss your protection call, and you let a guy run free to the Mac, and there's a sack there. That I mean, is that on Mac or is that on the blocker? That, I mean, that's on the blocker. Like you got to understand your assignment. You got to react. You got to go play fast. And when you're not certain, and football is very, very simple. When you know what you're doing, and you're playing fast, you're just reacting. You're just playing. When you're thinking and you're you're slower and you're not reacting, you make mistakes, and that's when things kind of domino, and then the game gets out of hand. All right, Rob Ninkovich, quick reminder All that right. uh, Labor Day weekend is upon us, and that is the end mm-hmm. of flip flop season. So, I uh, just want to remind well, you. Just want to <laughs> remind you about that. I, I just say, hey, listen, I don't want to smack the glasses off you, so just you know, be respectful. All right. <laughs> Not, all right. Nico, great to talk to you. See you soon, buddy. See you. Bye. Okay, buddy.